love Early in the morning Just tell me that you want it Loving all night long love. Early in the morning Tell me that you want it I wanted this album to to kind of sound like a representation of my show a little bit, you know? Like, my show is focused on singing, but there's still a beginning, middle, and an end to each episode. And I wanted to, to use that concept and apply it here. So there's, there's a bunch of segues and cool transitions, and, and in the middle, there's just this whole jam session of an intermission. Avery and Josh were in the studio creating this little groove, and I instantly heard the lyrics. Simple, but groovy. Love early in the morning. <gasps> Hello, puppy. Taco, Taco, you hear me. Hi, son. Hi, son. Hi, look, I have another dog. Wait, let me see. Gibson, come here. Hold on. Make him bark. Gibson, bark. Bark, bark. Spice. If you're from the couch, you're lacking. Oh, we love that old spice, yeah. Oh, we love that old spice, yeah. Oh, the man on the commercial. Oh, he said it smelled real good. Had a lady pop around, pop around. Everybody pour one more round. Cause he got that old spice, old spice in that red container. That old spice, but if you got money, you get the white container. Cause she more expensive, oh yeah. <laughs> What just happened? I don't know. I didn't want a whole bunch of lyrics or a bunch of stuff. I just wanted it to sound like a break in the action, you know? And if you're like me and listen to albums straight through, by the time you get to this song, you're ready for a chill bop. Tune that thing, boy. See, you got to tune your instruments so that they play with the glory of the Lord. If you, if you don't tune, Aha! If you don't tune your instruments, it's like praying without being on your knees. Get on your knees. Everything's better on your knees. Uh, One more time. You got it? Here we go. Yeah, that's sick. Glory to God. The keys will match it too. Yes. I wanted the intermission to to sound like like when you're at a concert, like when you're at a concert and <laughs> the artist has to leave the stage for like a quick change or like the change clothes or whatever, and but the band keeps playing, you know, like give the artist a break, but please don't stop the music. Check, check, one, two, two, check, one, two, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Early in the morning. What happened? 
Did you hear that run he just did? Where? <laughs> I did what? <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> it was all a blur. <laughs> I, I said, let's hear that. Oh, <laughs> listening. Love it, love it. Early in the morning, morning, morning. just tell me that you want it, morning, yeah. Love it all day long, love. Early in the morning, morning, just tell me that you want it, yeah. Love it all day long, all night long, love it all night long, love it all night long. Sauce, get out of here with that now. Because <laughs> it's going to end up on the song. Instagram is a powerful tool. It is a powerful tool. I posted up on Instagram that I was looking for a saxophone player. And the way my DMs lit up, baby, I said there is a God. There is a saxophone God. <laughs> Terrell put up an IG post and one of my fans that hit me up and said, hey man, uh, Terrell's looking for saxophone. You gotta hit him up. <laughs> it was some post that he posted. He said he was looking for a saxophone player. And I said, I'm your guy. He sent a bunch of saxophone emojis and he hit me back and was like, you sound amazing. I need to pull up. So he, so he pulled up. <laughs> That'll bless you if you let it. So right here, one, two. You know, Terrell came up and uh, gave us the idea as far as what he wanted for an interlude, and uh, we just created it on the spot with him. He said he wanted it to sound like sex. All right, well, yeah, that's exactly what happened. So, I mean, if you listen to the interlude, <laughs> sounds like sex, you know? <laughs> So Kim and Xavier were only gonna be in LA for a couple of more days, and before they left, I wanted to get some final touches done. One thing a lot of artists do when they come on the show is put their own creative spin on a classic, but obviously a cappella. So I wanted Xavier to do that very thing with the all night long intermission. Love, early in the morning, just tell me that you want it. Loving all night long. Love. Early in the morning. Yeah, loving all night long. Love. Early in the morning. Just tell me that you want it. Loving all night long. Ooh. 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 Loving all night long. That <laughs> Playback, nigga. <laughs> from the beginning of the whole thing. Listen, Xavier also very booked and busy. So we didn't have as much time with him as we did with everyone else. But the way that boy ate up that acapella, more than enough. This is so sad. Like, this is I my know. least favorite part. Oh, God. I don't, don't, first one. don't <laughs> cry, Roxy. Shut up, Daddy. <laughs> I know for a fact that Brooke Simpson and I are Lex's number one fans and proud of it. Mm-hmm. Mm. I said, Brooke, I want to write a ballad, okay? And I want it to be about unrequited love, and I want you and Lex to do it together. I don't and 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 I don't want a lot of production. I don't want a lot of drums that just give me keys and we're going to be all right. And that's how we got untouchable. Okay? We wrote it on a Wednesday. 
cut it on a Thursday and got drunk on a Friday. Went to church on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up off of Brooke's emotion, okay. but make it lexified. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, you know, give it to him. Now, we ran this in the other room. Uh huh. I'm going to let y'all know. She knows. Okay. Well, let me just. <laughs> Honestly, I might need to just leave. Because <laughs> after she starts, I'm like, what is Brooke's purpose? Like, this bitch, just go. Just go. So good. Oh, she's blessing me. <laughs> if I had my. Goodness. Lexington. Lex, you're a singer, babe. Thank you. You're a singer, babe. My goodness. He's Dumb. <laughs> Dumb. Uh, Let's switch it up. Let me touch the hem of your garment. <laughs> yes. I just wanna be where you are. I just wanna be where you are. Mm. So here I am in the same old place with the same old tears and the same heartbreak. Oh, I wish I knew my worth and maybe this wouldn't hurt, but things don't always go my way. Me and love ain't on the same page. I keep falling for the ones who don't ever reciprocated so close untouchable oh, I just want to be where you are I just want to be where you I just want to be where you are. I just want to be where you are. Pause. I messed Stack up on that, that last that's one. That's okay. Stack the harmony. The Hurry one. up. Get okay, up there. Yes. Tag. Make it really sweet. A little airy. I just want to be where you are. Yup. I just want to be where you are. I can't. I can't stand you. She's so 
so do good. It again. Just like that, don't change a thing. Okay. That's why that whole competition just won't fair. Everybody was too good for their own business. I know. Jeez. That was, I don't, if we do that competition again, topping that is going to be something. I, I think about that all the time. People have a lot to live up to. I mean, the top, all of them are good, but the top five, yeesh. Game over. Stardom. Honestly, like, if it wasn't, like, an entire process, you could have gone just any, mini, money, mo. Exactly. Like, y'all, okay, go back to this. Yes, I could I'm go sorry. on this forever. <laughs> How would you feel? I feel like you should, like, do some low harmonies on the <laughs> Last. What you want for what? Where? It'd be nice. <sighs> Pray about it while we do Josh, this, Josh, you're bridge. never on my side with this. Be <laughs> nice and mix. You're never on my yeah, side we'll with this. we'll just, like, tuck it. His favorite word. We'll just tuck it. <laughs> what am I, drag queen? The love I'm God. done. Um, well, do the bridge first. Y'all do your parts, and then okay. we'll, we'll see. So tell me what you want me to be. Okay. Now just tell me what I don't have that you need. It's just killing me every time that I you do it one more time and this time I want you to I want to see it on your face okay like this is the part of the song where it's like boy what do you want from me you know what I'm saying it's like I have put out my best work here <laughs> and just... his legs open. <laughs> I'm done go ahead be serious that's my fault I hate myself so much go, I, go. What I, was doing. I, I put out I my, put my best, best work here <laughs> and you're just not receiving it this is the best you're not receiving her okay <laughs> So I need you to let me know okay. what is it that I don't have that you need so I can go get it. And I know this is not, you know, this is not a message that It's like it's just, it's this is a snapshot in time mm -hmm. of when you're going through it. Yeah. Ultimately, I want people to know that you're enough. You don't you need to find someone that loves you to the core mm -hmm. no matter what. And as much as like like someone would easily see this and say, "Oh no, like that's not the we've all been there. We've all been there. We we've all been that person. Yes. You know what I mean? As much as I want to say, I'm no, I'm confident. I don't need nothing but my damn self. Like right. all this stuff. I know I've been there. Where like, well, what should I do? Is, is it outward? Is it my exactly. hair? Is it my is, is it my skin color? Yes. Like, or is it something on the inside? I'm doing wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. We've Music all shouldn't felt just this. be like the your perspective once you've been through and over come something mm -hmm. it should be what how did you go through it all along yeah. the way the whole process in the gutter in what the was gutter. it like there exactly i, I know wanna... you're not there no more but right. tell me how you felt exactly because everybody ain't done mm -hmm. everybody ain't on the other side and yeah. they didn't found the light so tell me what you wanted me to be now just tell me what i don't have that you need it's just killing me every time that i see you is somebody else that isn't me. Perfect. Woo. I feel like you should do it. What for? I'm tell I I just try Lord once and shit. even and if you hate it, then we'll both stack he's, two lower parts. He's not gonna hate it. This microphone is on the ground. I'm sorry. <laughs> what See, what now I'm supposed we have to, to actually raise it a foot. Oh yeah, let me. Like, we literally gonna, have to raise it a foot. No, Holy I'm gonna, shit, you're tall. I know. Like <laughs> a giraffe. I'm gonna sit and do it. Tall. Is that it all was, right? It was so different when I was all sitting. Right? Wait, Josh, I gotta get in the emotion. I gotta think about this dumb boy you wrote the song about. Which one? <laughs> Be shade. Do do no, focus. Don't do focus. Me. Don't do me. In these streets, Joshua. <laughs> Ew. So tell me what you want me to be. Now just tell me what I don't have that you need It's just killing me every time that I see You with somebody else that isn't me so
I need to be cradled because I don't know what my body is. Okay, <laughs> now now I'm inspired. Now I'm inspired. Give me yes! Sing! Oh my God, I'm wait, inspired. I'm gonna throw up. Just add some- I'm gonna throw <laughs> up. Add some time at the end. I just wanna be where you That song has a lot of personal meaning for me. Without going into too much detail, yes, it's about a boy. Oh, I hate talking about this stuff. It's about a boy who didn't love me. Okay, it's about a boy who didn't love me back. I loved him. Not really, he just was really hot. I don't even know why I wrote a song about his dumb ass. I'm not gonna use that. We wrote this song with everybody in mind that feels like or have ever felt like they were not seen by someone that they really were into. It's a thing, you know? And it's the worst thing. Like when you're when you see someone that you're really into and you know that you could be so good to them, you could be so good to them. And they just they just don't they don't care or they just see through you or, you know, they're dating somebody else and, and they don't even like that person too much. Like, why are you with her? Why are you with him? You complain about him all the time. But, you know, and I'm right here just looking juicy and you looking at everybody else. You know what I mean? It's just the worst. That line, I just want to be where you are. It just dominates your mind, you know? That's why we repeat that line so much because it's a dominating thought. I just want to be where you are. I just want to be where you are. And when we get to that bridge, because we've all been here, you got that person in your mind that you just infatuated with, and you start trying to study what you think they want. Maybe you even have an example, because they're already dating somebody. And you can, you're trying to see what they're interested in. And subconsciously, you start to try to fit the mold. You start to try to figure out how can I be that person that he or she wants me to be. So in that bridge, so tell me what you wanted me to be. Now just tell me um, what I don't have that you need. It's just killing me every time I see you with somebody else that isn't me. Like that came from a real came from a real place in my personal life. There was somebody I was into, and I, I saw that I was not what he was into. So I tried to change myself to try to be what I thought he needed. And I could never be that thing and it never worked out clearly. So it's best to be yourself and find somebody that really appreciates you for you. This song. I just want to be where you are. Ugh. This song. I don't care where you at. I just want to be there. Are you in Wyoming? <laughs> Utah. Utah. There's a quick flight I can make it. I can I have I have done crazy things to be places where men were. <laughs> you hey, know, people do crazy things for love. I have taken whole flights to be where he was. And it still didn't work out. Mm. I might as well find somebody local. <laughs> <laughs> Save that gas money. Save all that money. And your your what are they called? Frequent flyer miles? Mm -hmm. oh. Save your Sa miles. Save Frequent those. whole miles is what I was using. <laughs> Frequent whole <laughs> miles. <laughs> <I> was... <laughs> So the very last thing we did with Kim was this little quick vibe that her, Lex, and Candace came up with. And although it didn't make the album, it was really fun to experiment and see what else Kim had in her bag of tricks. You had me record in the beginning. Head all in the clouds, thought I was winning. Mm -mm. You can still do the same thing at the end, but just, you know, less soulful. Okay. Winning. Winning. No. Winning. Winning. Baby, <laughs> I was up for about 40 hours straight at the time of this session. A nigga was tied. <laughs> choice. You had me vulnerable and then you got too comfortable. 
takeaway that you're gonna leave with here um I actually talked about this earlier like it's 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 literally lit a fire into me because mm. there's a difference between loving music and loving to sing and it actually being your life I really want to thank everybody in the world who took out the time to vote for me mm. week after week after week um, who took time to repost my videos everything because if it was not for you guys, this moment wouldn't have ever happened for me. So I'm extremely grateful to every single one of y'all. From a black and white submission tape to, to the top 10, to top five, to top two when she was not number two, to song association, to the album, and now to you, Kim did that. Kim did that. And honestly, there is an amount of, of views or likes or whatever the hell else that could compete with the feeling that I got watching Kim have the time of her life throughout this whole experience. I'm so proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Because <laughs> I'm about, about to cry. Don't, yeah. No! Don't talk anymore. <laughs> don't cry. What you cry for? <laughs> it's been such an experience just watching you develop. Don't predict you. <laughs> Cause I'm what? sorry. I'm not the what the, the what no. <laughs> she has to go to the airport right now. You are forever my love, my babe, my shining star. Yes, I'll be right out. Thank you so much. And is that her car? Yes. Okay. That's my car. Literally, she has to leave me right now. <sighs> All right, don't miss this flight because I can't pay for another one. Mama Sita never part my mm -hmm. key. Da, da. I told y'all, I worked everybody to the bone on this project. Okay. I had Kim in the studio up until the minute she's supposed to fly back across the country. I said, bring your bags, Kim. Kimothy, bring your belongings. Oh, man. Oh. 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 oh, my God. I have worked more in the last 10 days than I have in any other 10 day, of my, 10 day period of my life. And I've done some hard shit, Josh. I am exhaustionable. It's not even a word. Now all of our out-of-towners are gone, and now the hard work really starts, honestly. Because not only do we have to finish the album with everybody else who's been on Song Association, we have to mix it, it's got to get mastered, there's gotta be time for that. I have to edit this thing. This is gonna take me at least two weeks to edit. And that's working every day, 12 hours a day. There's so much footage. And we haven't even shot all the footage yet. I'm speaking right now in the middle of the project. Holy moly. Whose idea was this? What did he? What's up? Oh, yeah, yeah. In the words? Making my way downtown, walking fast, blah, 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 and I'm homebound. <laughs> I, I don't blankly know. ahead, walking fast, <laughs> something fast in the body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is easy. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's okay. Yeah, I miss you. Oh, uh, y'all both fell off. And I miss you. <laughs> and I miss you. And now I wonder <laughs> if I could fall into the sky.